for salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to his setting a few sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts who are brought to you for consecration that you may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. You are all and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We give First acclamation, 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by his body and blood of your son and filled with the Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, our husband, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Camillus, our Bishop, Patrick, auxiliary Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family whom you are summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you and their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestowed on the world all that is good. Ferisumet cum iso et ipso est video patria omnipotenti unitate spiritus sancti omnis honor et gloria per omnia secula seculorum. Tolitaris molitis et divinia instruzione formati Ademo di cere, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, might always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with her we who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace 
of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Glory be to Jesus Christ, both now and forevermore. Amen. The Holy Mass that having celebrated is for every one of us gathered in the church today, for it is now time for Holy Communion, and the Holy Communion is only for Catholics who have prepared themselves, are in a state of grace, and are ready to receive. If you are such, please come forward for Communion. Otherwise, remain in your seat, praying the grace of God will meet you there. Then the 
sings my soul, my Savior God today. How great thou art, how great thou
am the true vine and you are the branches says the Lord whoever remains in me and I in him bears fruit in plenty hallelujah let us pray graciously be present at your to your people we pray O Lord and lead those you have imbibed with heavenly mystery to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Thank you so very much. It's been a magnificent liturgy for a magnificent woman. Just a few, few things are left and we bring this mass to its close. First of all, I will invite the River State Commissioner for Information, Olinus Nsirim, Please step forward and take the recognitions of those who are here present, including our beloved governor. At the end of the recognitions, His Excellency the Governor of River State will address us. And thereafter, our celebrant will say a word of appreciation and thanksgiving to every one of us. And then we will conclude with a final blessing. And we will have group photographs here at the foot of the altar with the governor, with the celebrant, with the justices of the federal, of the Supreme Court of Nigeria who are here present. This kind of ceremony does not always take place. And so we like to have indelible memories of it in our chaplaincy archives. But before the Honorable Commissioner begins to take the notices, let me very sincerely and warmly welcome our Bishop, Most Reverend Kamilu Setukuda, Bishop of Port Harcourt, who is unavoidably absent. But who has sent his auxiliary, Most Reverend Patrick Eluke, to represent him at this Mass. Let me also warmly welcome Most Reverend Anselm Umoren, the Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Abuja, who is also here in our midst. Before the end of the Mass, the Auxiliary Bishop of Abuja will perform a most solemn ritual for us. If you look around this church, because this church is dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary. We have different sanctuaries, or we've erected different sanctuaries for Our Lady. This is the sanctuary of Our Lady, Queen of the Rosary. And then on the altar, you find Our Lady with the world in her hands, the globe in her hands. And there at that corner, we have Our Lady of Africa. And opposite her is Our Lady on Duar of Knots. At the far back of the church, a lady mother of perpetual help. And on the other side, we have a lady of Fatima. And towards the exit, we have the infant Jesus. And opposite him, we have a lady of the Immaculate Conception. These sanctuaries were donated by members of this chaplaincy who had cause to offer thanksgiving for one reason or the other and decided to leave monuments in the church. So the bishop has directed that these sanctuaries be blessed by the auxiliary bishop of Abuja um, within this mass and at the end of the mass he will also bless and consecrate the chapel of perpetual adoration which the CWU of this chaplaincy has also 
done some bit of extreme makeover. So thank you so much. May I now invite the Commissioner for Information, Honorable Pauline Nelson Sirim, to take the recognitions. And at the end of it, please invite our governor to address the state here gathered. My Lord Bishops, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I have the special privilege to welcome us all to this Thanksgiving service to celebrate exemplary service, service without blemish to fatherland. We have distinguished personalities that are here this afternoon. First is His Excellency Yesum Ezenwawike, C-O-N, G-S-S-R-S-P-O-S, Africa. The governor of River State and the man who will renew Nigeria. <laughs> High Excellency Honorable Justice Eberechi Suzet Yesum Wike, wife of the governor, is also here. <laughs> Honorable Justice Olukayode Ariwala JSC, representing the Chief Justice of Nigeria. The President Customary Court of Appeal Nigeria also represented here by Honorable Justice J. S. Ikea. High Excellency Dr. Mrs. Epalebo Hari Banigo, Deputy Governor of River State. His Excellency Senator Lawrence Ewuru Jabo, Deputy Governor by Elsa State. His Excellency Sir Dr. Peter Odili, CON, GSSRS. The Golden Governor of Nigeria and former Governor of River State. And of course, our mother, Justice Mary Ukego Odili JSC. His Excellency Sir Celestine Ngozichim Omeha, former governor of River State. Senator George Thompson Sekibo and other members of the National Assembly here present. Because you can mistake this for a special court session, we have so many justices that are here, so I will just take your kind permission to recognize a few of them for the purpose of this ceremony. We we'll have justices of the Supreme Court that are here. Honorable Justice KMO Kekereku, JSC. Honorable Justice Amina Agi, JSC. Honorable Justice HMB Eko, JSC. Honorable Justice Salawa, JSC. Also, retired justices of the Supreme Court that are here, Justice F.F. F. Tabai, <laughs> Justice S. Galadima, <laughs> Honorable Justice K.B. Akas, <laughs> Honorable Justice A. Galumje, <laughs> Honorable Justice B.J. Rose Vivo, 
and the same vein, justices of the Court of Appeal that are here. We have Honorable Justice T.D. Bere Owa. Honorable Justice Oludo Tsu Adefope Okoge. Honorable Justice Yu Onye Menem. Honorable Justice Abraham Biobele George Will. Honorable Justice Gabriel Kola Wole. Honorable Justice Kenneth Amadi. Honorable Justice Fatima Akimbomi. We have also Chief Judge of some of the states of the Federation that are here. First on the list is Honorable Justice S.C. Amadi for River State. Honorable Justice A.A. Ojo, Oshun State. Honorable Justice M.A. Paul Lu, Ogun State. Honorable Justice Andover Kakan, Benue State. Honorable Justice David G. Mann, Plateau State. Honorable Justice B.I. Njoku, Chief Judge, Federal Capital, Abuja. Honorable Justice Suleiman Kau, Kwara State. Honorable Justice Munta Abimbola, Oyo State. Honorable Justice Kate Aberi, CEO, Mbayasa State. Honorable Justice Ihana Chobuzo, President, Customer Court of Api River State. Honorable Justice SMJ Usman, President, Customer Court of Appeal, Kogi State. We have retired Chief Judge uh, here, Honorable Justice Chendo, River State. Honorable Justice Adama Iaye Lamikra. Honorable Justice PNC Agumago, retired President, Customer Court of Appeal, River State. Honorable Justice O. Adeke J.S. Retired is also here. We have judges of the Federal High Court that are here to celebrate with our mother. Honorable Justice S. Olurun Downsey. Honorable Justice E.A. Obile. Honorable Justice P.M. Ayu. Honorable Justice S.D. Palm. Honorable Justice A.T. Mohammed. Honorable Justice S.I. Mack. Honorable Justice Dan Asiago. Honorable Justice Simon Aboki, representing the Chief Judge Nasarawa State. Honorable Justice F.I. Kola Olalere, Administrative Judge, National Industrial Court. We also have judges of the River State Judiciary, comprising of the High Court and the Customary Court of Appeal. We have the Speaker, River State House of Assembly. We have the families of the celebrants, especially the insane ones and the orderlies. The state chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Ambassador Desmond Akao. Right Honorable Austin Okbara, former Deputy Speaker, Federal House of Representatives. Elder statesmen of the state, led by Chief Ferdinand Alabraba. The chairman, River State Council of Traditional Rulers, and all the royal majesties and highnesses that are here. Also in our midst is Amai Kokiro, former Inspector General of Police. 
We have the body of senior advocates of Nigeria that are here. Members of the River State House of Assembly, members of the River State Executive Council, special advisors to the Governor of River State, chairmen of local government areas of River State, permanent secretaries, all the distinguished guests, gentlemen of the press, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, you are all welcome to this historic ceremony. God bless you all. It's now my honor and privilege to invite the governor of River State, the man who has redefined governance in Nigeria, making River State the centerpiece of development. His Excellency Yesom Ezewo Weekend, CON, to address the congregation. My Lord Bishops, <laughs> Your Excellencies, let me stand on the protocol established by the Commission of Information who is trying to keep his job. I was told to address the state. I'm not going to address the state two times. I will address the state tomorrow during the state banquet. So I will not address the state today in the church. Rather, I want to use opportunity to thank my Lord Bishops and all those who came to celebrate with our mother. When the husband told me that I was going to speak, I told him that, you know, everything in my mind now is about delegates. And, and so, I've seen the audience here. There are no much delegates. So, my Lord, the Chief Judge, happily presented by my Lord Justice Ayola, and your brother Justices, the Justices of Court of Appeal, Judges of other courts that are here. I want to sincerely thank Almighty God for today. Today in the sense that it is not easy in Nigeria to serve for 44 years, 44 good years. In the public service and come out meritoriously it is worthy of giving thanks to God Almighty. For those of you who may not know, all of us here who are politicians, who are politicians, there's no one in this state today except it may be prodigal ones who did not eat food in her kitchen that's not any of us you know it is not easy to be a judge and married to a politician even though the husband said he had retired but by the grace of God, we still need his advices. So he's not tired. <laughs> I 
I just don't want to take your time. Tomorrow is our, is our own day. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that government house cannot accommodate the number. So I was just a small. I have learned something that you don't allow your job to affect your family. In essence, she does her work and she also takes care of the husband at home. <laughs> Let me say this. When she was a magistrate serving at Elimbu, that time she comes with messages, yellow color. You can imagine I see the bring back very well. She looks at the time when she's sitting, she will close and go home to make sure. She will say, Look, it's time for lunch for Peter. She will go home and make sure lunch is ready for the husband. Some people will take the advantage and say, well, the cook is there. They can put food for him and eat. But take special attention to the husband. It's very, very, very important. I've seen somebody who is very compassionate, very caring. The moment you are around the husband, she takes care of you. She sees you as the husband's person and so she will also relate with you. Some of us are direct beneficiaries of the care through our relationship with the husband. I have never called her my lord, I have never. What I call her is mommy. I have never called her my lord any day. I have never. So, retiring from service and looking at what she passed through. When once God is with you, you don't need to fear anybody. Even to become a judge, I know how difficult it was. The politics involved. When she was supposed to be a judge, politics, this and that. But God's time is always the best. So, there's a need to thank Almighty God for her. Some of us here in this church today, just one instance. In 2004, that time the husband was a governor. So she was going to Bori, Bori camp for women empowerment. I was to run for my second tenure as chairman of my local government. Maybe she will forget this. I want to remind her today. Now, they were having lunch with the husband and the former state party chairman then, Prince Uche Secundus. And I was told that my name has been removed in the list. So I ran down to government house. Then she had finished her own lunch and left the husband and was entering the vehicle. I said, Mommy, I'm finished. She said, What happened? I said, I removed my name. She ran back straight to the husband. So, uh, what happened? The husband said, What is the problem? My son said, I removed him. He said, Who removed his name? At that time, second daughter left. 
Then the husband now called the security at the gate. Stop security, she come back. <laughs> and secondus came back. So this Wahala with me and Segundo is not today started. <laughs> So this was 2004. And so Segundus came back and the husband said, Who is in Obi Abolo government? He started scratching his head. Who? Who is that? It's okay. Hold on. Call me Obulafo. Obulafo was the national secretary of the party then. And then he called Obulafo. Start there. I said, Whose name is in Obi Abolo? He said, One prince. One prince who? So, okay, hold on, I'm coming to Abuja. That was how I went back as second time chairman, as second time chairman. But, so, for me, I can't talk about my growth without mentioning her well if she was not around that day to see the governor it is not a busy thing it's not a busy thing so had been around that particular day saved my career in politics you know once you leave office everyone's leaving you and so that was how i grew from there to become what i am today like i said Today is not the day. It's just to thank all of you for coming to tomorrow. Because I've not talked about my wife and myself. Most people thought that we just knew her. We did our attachment in her court when she was a high court judge. By the time she didn't know that my, my wife was eyeing me. Uh, she didn't know that, that. but so let me let me leave you tomorrow thank you and God bless you Thank you very much, Your Excellency, the Governor of River State. Another round of applause for His Excellency. Thank you for gracing this occasion with your wonderful words. We are grateful. May your days be long. Thank you, Your Excellency. It's now my humble privilege in a very special way to invite to the microphone the celebrant of the day, the Justice of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Honorable Justice Mary Peter Orderly. May we rise up as she comes to take over the microphone. My Lord, please, our dear mother, our dear grandmother, you are there. Thank you, Mommy. This was difficult. <laughs> My Lord Bishop Etukudo represented by B Bishop Eluke and the Bishop, the Auxiliary Bishop of Abuja, my Lord Anselm Umoren. The clergy here fully represented our governor, Nyesom Ezenwawike, and my former colleague, Suzette Eberechi Wike. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State, Dr. Epalebo Banigo, and 
the Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Bayelsa. I don't want to beat my tongue. Your name is complicated. <laughs> but I know you and I recognize you. My dear husband, Peter, the second most senior judicial officer in the Federation, Olukayode Ariwola. The representative of the President Court of Appeal here present. The noble lords of the Supreme Court here present and the retired ones like myself. This gathering is an interesting one. I also recognize all the justices and judges here present, including the judges of the Federal Capital Territory. And Fatima Akimbami, my classmate in the law school, my flatmate in Abeokuta during youth service, and my colleague in the Ministry of Justice, Abeokuta, Fatima Akimbami Ni Abdullahi. There are many professors, different professionals here present, men of timber and caliber, my distinguished brothers and sisters, the Christians, and our brethren in the Muslim community that are all here present, showing with that we are all one. I am privileged to have the celebration for me and our family with the vote of thanks done by a sitting governor of a state, the governor of River State, Chief Nyesom Wike. Thank you for your vote of thanks. He is somebody who delves into a lot of history, some of them very romantic ones, <laughs> either affecting me and my family or my husband or he and his wife. At the time I did, they came to my court, I didn't know they were dating, I didn't know, I thought they were just students. If I had my eyes open, I would have known what was going on. <laughs> but as they say, the rest is now history. They've been married for many years, have children. One of them is also a graduate, so it's a long time ago. <laughs> my brothers and sisters, I don't know what to say because I am overwhelmed with all of you congregating to be part of this Thanksgiving celebration. The good Lord knows that Peter and I don't know how to properly thank God. Our journey in life has been such that the good Lord has always been there. There have been challenges, no doubt. But the good Lord did not promise us that we will not have challenges, tribulations, or difficulties. But the good Lord has always stood by us and made us prevail in all those trials and tribulations. The love the good Lord has for us is what we have come to epitomize in this chapel 
of our Blessed Virgin Mary to say our humble thanksgiving. To be frank with you, Peter and I have a thanksgiving that is continuous, unending, and will continue again and again to thank God. There are too many things to thank God for. And so, the good, old, the good God who knows everything knows we cannot count them one by one, but he knows all of them and he knows that we are grateful. We are also grateful to you, the Rivers people, our friends from all over the Federation who have taken the trouble since last night, we heard of those arriving and those who have come into this church from out of this state. It is only out of love that you could have made journeys such as this to honor our family. We pray God to honor you individually and collectively and to meet each and every one of you at every point of your need. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, children of God, sons and daughters of Abraham, many, many thanks and God bless you all. Why my Lord remains standing right in front of the sanctuary, I ask us to please rise up and I invite the choir to lead us all in the happy birthday song to, to my Lord. Please choir, let us sing happy birthday to mommy. State His Excellency, Sir Dr. Peter Lee, please step forward on behalf of this noble assembly. On behalf of the bishop, the priests, the religious, and everyone gathered here, my dear mommy, we, in a very special way, present to you this happy birthday card for all the wonderful works you have been doing in the Federal Republic, Supreme Court of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and in River State, we wish to say a happy birthday to you. Please bring it down so that the cameraman can get a view of it. Please bring down, bring come this way. I want to say thank you very much. We wish you many happy returns, long life and prosperity. Happy birthday to you, our dear mother. Why we are still, please, you may be seated. Let's take a good photograph with the, the governor and his wife. It's me.
media, please move back a little, move back a little. I will invite to join the Excellency and my Lord, the Auxiliary Bishop of Port Harcourt and the Auxiliary Bishop of Abuja. Please, my Lord, step forward and join in this group photograph. I will also ask that Monsignor Pioski join them. Join this photograph. Make way the deputy governor, please. The deputy. Okay, after this, thank you. Thank you. Let's invite the children and the grandchildren. After that, we continue with the service. The children and grandchildren, just that, and we'll continue with the, with the other programs for the mass. Reverend fathers and reverend sisters, you come and come closer, please. Thank you very much. Please, maybe we retire to our seats now. No, retire to our seats. The mass is still on. Please without your seats.
thank you. Thank you very much. Allow my excellency. Glory be to Jesus Christ, both now and forevermore. Cameraman, please, please, please. It's okay. Thank you. Please. I will invite the Auxiliary Bishop of Abuja. He will be blessing the grotto of the infant Jesus and in a very special way, that of the Mariam statues. Choir, give us a song to the infant Jesus, sweetheart of Jesus, fount of love and blessing. very much. May we rise for the blessing. Our herbs in the name of the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. God, our good Father, lover of the human race, we praise you for the great love shown us in the sending of your word, born of the virgin. He became our savior, our firstborn brother, like us in all things but sin. You have given us Christ as the perfect example of holiness. We see him as a child in the manger, yet acknowledge him God Almighty. We see his face and descend the countenance of your goodness. We hear him speak the words of life and are filled with your wisdom. We search the deepest reaches of his heart and our own hearts born with that fire of the spirit which he spread in order to renew the face of the earth. We look on the bridegroom of the church in his own blood, but we revere that blood which washes our sins away. The church rejoices in the glory of his resurrection and shares in his, the promise of the promise it holds. Lord, listen to our prayers as your faithful people honor this image of infant Jesus, your son. 
May they be of one mind with Christ. May they exchange the image of the old Adam of earth by being transformed into Christ the new Adam from heaven. May Christ be the way that leads them to you, the truth that shines in their hearts, and the life that animates their actions. May Christ be a light to their footsteps, a safe place of rest on their journey, and the gates that open to them the city of peace. For he lives there, reigning with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Sweet heart of Jesus, make us pure and gentle, and teach us all to do thy blessed will, to follow close the prints of thy dear footsteps, and when we fall, sweet heart of Still, sweet Lord of Jesus, we implore, who make us lonely more and more. Sweet Lord of Jesus, we of the Blessed Virgin Mary in this church. The Lord be with you. Lord God, we acknowledge your infinite glory and the abundance of your gifts. Before the foundation of the world, you are appointed Christ, the beginning and the end of all things. You chose the Blessed Virgin Mary as the mother and companion of your son, the image and model of your church, the mother and advocate of us all. She is the new Eve, through whom you restore what the first Eve had lost. She is the daughter of Zion, who echo in our hearts the longings of the patriarch and the hope of Israel. She is the poor, and lowly servant who trusted solely in our Lord. In the fullness of time, she was delivered of the Son of Justice, the day spring from on high, your Son, Jesus Christ. In her flesh, she was his mother. In her person, his disciple. In her love, his servant. Father, may your children who have provided these images and statues of our Blessed Mother know her protection and trace in their hearts the pattern of her holiness. Bless them with faith and hope, love and humility. Bless them with strength in hardship and self-respect in poverty. Bless them with patience in adversity and kind-heartedness in time of times of plenty. May they search for peace, strive for justice, and realize your love as they pursue their journey through life towards your heavenly city, where the Blessed Virgin Mary intercedes as mother and reigns as queen. We make our prayers through Christ our Lord. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Immaculate Mary, our hearts are on fire, the tides to so wondrous, feels all Oh, 
joy in all ye pain. We'll seek thee, our mother, nor seek thee in vain. Ave, 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 Bishop, myself, priest, and religious and lay faithful of the Kali Diocese of Portacot. The bishop has asked me to say thank you to this great family, the family of Dr. Odele, by celebrating the wife, her birthday, and retirement. The bishop wants me to thank you for the many uh, uh, generosity you have shown to the church especially throughout your reign as governor and up to now. The bishop is always with you in his prayers. All the priests are always with your family in prayers. So the bishop has said to you, keep what, doing what you are doing, that one time, one day he will see you. So the bishop has asked me to tell you, well done, congratulations to your wife, your dear wife, and for all the things you have done, to the Catholic Diocese of Port Harcourt. We appreciate it. We cannot thank you enough. Only God will continue to bless you. As you retire, our dear mother will ask you to retire in good health of mind and body. To our dear husband, the husband, our father and grandfather, thank you for making, keeping her and making her a good wife. I believe that the two of you have lived together for all these years. You have confided in each other. You have lived together. You have understood each other. And you have prayed together. Remember your name, Mary, our mother Mary. Always run to her anytime you have problems. And to the children, thank you for being a good child and for being a good grandchildren, for being good, good grandchildren. And may God continue to bless you as you celebrate today. And may you continue to celebrate many more years in good health of mind and body. This is our prayer to Christ our Lord. We shall now rise for the final blessing. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God the Father bless you and lead you safely home. Amen. Amen. May he guide you from stumbling and be with you in front to lead you and behind to protect you. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you now and forevermore. The month is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.